Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pasties of Skin. Today we are checking out The Treasures of Montezuma 4. Now, I've never played any in the Treasures of Montezuma series. I've never actually engaged myself with the Tales of Montezuma series, Montezuma series, but I feel like I need to jump in right at the deep end. At number four, I'm sure there is a level of plot and storytelling that I am completely lacking because I have not experienced The Treasures of Montezuma before, but... I'm ready. I'm ready to have my world rock by this ongoing perpetual series. I know there's at least six in the run, and I've seen a couple of images of them, but I have no idea anything other than this. So I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to be lost here, guys. I'm sure it's deep, really, really difficult. But hopefully, hopefully, I won't. I'll have you guys with me to help me explain and understand what the fuck's going on. So select a difficulty mode. It's easy to earn points and gain bonuses. Recommend for X players. Uh, well, I will not be going on for that, so I will just do. So this is the treasures of Montezuma. Well, here we go. Now we here Once we get the story. Time, Emperor Montezuma and his beloved Anakaona vowed they would love each other forever. Alas, fate decided otherwise. Damn these conquistadors! Took the offensive, and the empire collapsed. Aztec gods. Ah, uh, it's the story of Montezuma's revenge. To escape to another world. <gasps> no! Perished. Only the emperor made it through. Of Emperor course, Montezuma's revenge. People believe that when one life ends, another begins. Today, Anna. A student at the University of Archaeology found a book that describes this legend. She felt like she already knew the story. It sounds like kind of, it's almost like the opening to the mummy. Led by a premonition, she traveled to where the greatest mystery of all time is hidden. The lost land of Montezuma. The treasures of Montezuma 4. Right. So let's go and check out this story mode of the Treasures of Montezuma. So, assuming this is kind of like Montezuma's Revenge in a way, where essentially um, we're not going to shit out of our own pants really the entire time, but what we are going to do is hunt for the, the true history, the story of what happened after Montezuma's departure to another world. That's what I say. So, the book contained the truth. Looking for an ancient Aztec sanctuary mentioned in only one obscure tome might have seemed mad, but my search was not in vain. The valley looks like it's described in the book, and I have seen the ancient ziggurat in my dreams. None of this is a coincidence. An ancient mystery has drawn me here. You're finally back! I'm happy to see you again after so many years, Anakona. Who are you? And what did you call me, Anakaona? I'm gonna keep changing that every single time. Oh, sorry, I completely forgot. I have a different name now. You have a different name now. Please don't be afraid of me. I won't hurt you. My name is Tagil. I'm your faithful servant. I'm here to help you. I read about this place in an old book. Tell me more about it. It's not the book that matters. You came to find answers to questions that you have been looking for since childhood. You will find the answers, believe me. But let's not hurry. I once said... The road of a thousand steps starts with the first step. A journey of a thousand steps. Maybe start with the first step. A road tends to start with paving and road markings and a speed limit. I think Lao Tzu said that first. To complete this way up to the end, you need awaken powers of all the gods in these statues. Face the challenge and you will get to know the truth. And also, don't talk back to me. The first of the seven statues is unlocked. Press on it to continue. Okay. Well, I can skip the tutorial, obviously, but um, I, I kind of need to know what's going on, so let's work our way through the tutorial. The first level is unlocked. Press on the play button to start the game. Let's play! So this is a match three game. Okay, dokie. Oh, yeah! Match three, man! So intense! Woo! Oh, the action! The adventure! I got you. Yes, I got ya. We're doing that one. Yeah, do you know why? Because I did this. Look at that. Look at that shit. 
Look at that shit! Huh, I'm not gonna trust you. I'm gonna find another one. Vertical is better, isn't it? Yeah, better's here. Boom! Ah, didn't work as well as I hoped. Or it is. Boom! Double strike. Uh, four again. That feels good. Yep, 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 yep. So that's the nature of it. It's just kind of like brick blocks. Have a misadventure. All good and grand. Let's do this one. Yeah, there we go. Bam, bam, bam. Yep, boom. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Love those multiple chains. Oh, so good. for totems and bonuses in the shop okay and what do we get upgrade item you need to start that unlocks that upgrade okay bonus upgrade bam now the dynamite of the first level okay that means i can use dynamite now boom destroys five nearby tokens fantastic so just like all games that are of this type um pretty much since uh, I suppose like puzzle quest would be the best way to describe it like it has become RPG esque and powered up and you do a lot of different things and you move on to the next level and that is it yes after that level is completed we of course move on to the next box and we work our way through so I'm um, like yes yes I can hit bonuses yes I know if I make four it'll be even better yay uh, okay yeah so it's telling you how to use bonuses Boom, that took out a lot of rings. Bam, let me just put the hearing on. Uh, there's possible moves you can make. Uh huh. Cool. And uh, destroy token vessel and deal with sand. When the bar is full, the score frenzy. Bam, we'll begin. Okay. So, continuing on with this game. Uh, I, I don't know if it's worthwhile me doing this. I mean, there's actually a lot of things going on here. Just a real unlocking explosions after explosions. Uh, what is that? Is that actually... I don't know what that is. What kind of icon is that? I can't even tell underneath it. Oh, it's blue. Uh, I was wondering there for a second. Boom! Gold! Level 2 Apprentice. So obviously, I have raised one of the towers. Put up a level just. Okay. Sorry, Mario, but the princess is in another castle. Your ziggurat is higher now. So I just, I just raised my ziggurat. Okay. You can buy Red Totem. Red Totem Bot. 
Ho, ho, ho. Fix token, eight tokens with fireballs. All right. So I've got that and that now, and I've got two unlocked. Happy days. That's good news. And the next thing is to move on to the next level. Hey! So as you can see, what the pattern is in this game is just more three gems smashing. All the three gems smashing. Breaking all the gems. They match red tokens and gain the... All right. You unlock... Every time you do red, it'll destroy those. Okay. That sounds like a plan. So uh, the red totem shows up whenever I pull up one thing and then actually make another thing happen. That makes sense. It's like chained together. Yes, yeah, so let's follow your destruction. Okie dokie. Close together. You wanted, yeah. Oh, isn't it glory? Following the instructions. So literally there is actually like playing this, there is no actual gameplay. If I if I just follow the instructions, it tends to actually play itself in a lot of ways, which is a little bit odd, but sure, if that's uh, that's what they want to do. Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on there. It played those ones. One. That one. I'm just essentially looking at here going like, is there make sense like why it's making me do that? But it does lead them up together so that whenever I finish that couple of turns, it'll actually set it up for another four button or a four gem one. This th this is probably the simplest of the games I've ever actually played because uh, unlike Puzzle Quest, which had uh, an opponent that you're constantly fighting against, and those were cheating sons of bitches in that game, this is just a chilled out gem matching experience with a story obviously told so uh, this is this is candy crush this is um is all bunches of um this is candy crush this is actually like that that repetitive gameplay loop that actually has a story reward at the end and fair enough for actually doing it like that's grand um could i I'll not do that just yet what i'll do is i'll do this first boom that that blew up a random thing and boom 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 that works through boom oh that was glorious that was really nice like that one and um i don't unlock anything in that level but i have money that i could go on and spend uh, i don't know how many levels this is going to give me oh good god all right hopefully this is actually near enough to the end of the levels all right frogs do something important all right they're a hazard along the way are they Whenever they all get matched together, am I chasing these frogs for some reason? Um. Hit two of them. Happy days. That was kind of cool. <laughs> He'll actually, that was quite gratifying. Got another one of you. <laughs> Eat that frog. <laughs> Got two of them unintentionally. Happy days. Yeah, that's actually kind of gratifying. Much more gratifying than I expected. Oh, oh, you shit. I was going to get two of them there, was I? Nah, that's just the one. So let's do that here. Um, not much I can do in here to actually get them. I think I actually might have been a little bit preoccupied by getting the frogs, and I messed myself up there. I need to actually pull everything back down. Up. Oh, it'll be. That's much better. Oh, I didn't get all the frogs. Right, so I must have got it then. Got enough frogs. Yay! Fantastic! Woo! Alright, so I might automatically unlock something there. And destroy it and use dynamite. Well, we'll not worry about that for just a moment. So... God, please tell me. It's, it just keeps going. Alright. No. What we're doing, we're going out to the main menu here. You've seen what is the the treasures of Montezuma 4. Obviously, it is gems, it is matching gems, and there's much more to be told in its deep, meaningful story. 
which has no connection to the gem matching whatsoever, just the fact that it's a framework. Um, obviously, this is an ongoing series that's been on mobile for a long time. It has now been transported across the PS4 because the marketplace has widened itself and opened to all of these mobile ports. So, yeah, if you want to play a mobile game that was designed to be played on a touchscreen with a control pad, you can play Treasures of Montezuma. If you've played this game series, you might have played it on a uh, tablet for many, many years. So I imagine like more of the younger audience might actually be familiar with this game series, but I imagine that their mums might be even more aware of it. Um, I just uh, I think it's one of those games that actually falls into that um, game loop of momentary gameplay that has a wee storyline that you play in your bed before you go to sleep. This isn't uh, a deep, meaningful gaming experience. But yeah, well, you got me. I, I you got me to play it, guys. You put a demo up. If you put a demo up, I play the demo and I see what I think about it. And this isn't harmful or bad in any way, shape, or form. It's a gem matching game. I just wish I was playing Puzzle Quest Two instead because that was actually much more enjoyable, or Puzzle Quest One even. So um, yeah, I might go and play that now instead of looking at this. So thank you very much for watching, guys. This has been Passage of Skin. If you like what you saw, you like my comments and complaints about the treasures of Montezuma, you can hit the subscribe button right up here. If you hit the subscribe button, it'll allow you to actually see every video as it comes out on the channel. And if you go over here and press any of the buttons over here, all these are videos that I've actually already done here on the channel previously. So if you actually see a playlist that you like or a video that you like over there, make sure to hit that. And of course, always remember to read the comments underneath and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, all those things. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.